Welcome to the Spawnies. I am your MC for the night, Eli Harris. You have heard my award-winning vocals in games like Skyrim, Ram Pressure, even on UFC Fight Pass, and Manscaped. And let's not forget, I am the voice of Brucago. Tonight, the Spawnies is a celebration of underrepresented communities who help make this gaming industry that we love so much powerful, impactful, and inclusive. So tonight, the questions we're going to ask is, who are these game developers? And what is the mark they're going to leave on the community? So make sure you stay tuned, enjoy, tell a friend, and remember, we are the culture. Welcome everyone to the Spawnies Award Show. My name is Khalif Adams. I am the host and owner of the Spawn on Me podcast. I'm super excited to be here with all of you at home. And let me introduce my co-host, the amazing, the fantastic director of brand over at G4, Rihanna Manuel. How are you doing, Rihanna? How's things? I am doing fantastic. Things are great. I am so excited to be a part of the Spawnies this year. You know, I just love everything that you've been doing with the Spawn on Me podcast in general. And a really, really great to, to hear from some underserved voices, some marginalized people who work in gaming and, you know, like folks who don't usually get to see on stage. So this is really, really exciting. I mean, I, I am besides all of those bits kind of being in the mix, I am just excited to finally get a chance to co-host a thing with you. You have been <laughs> on my radar for a long time. I've loved the work that you've done over at Xbox and all the other places within the gaming industry. Uh, so super excited to have you here co-hosting with me. Um, give the folks at home a little info about you and the work you've been doing in the space for, for the time that you've been in it. Yeah, so uh, I've been in the space for about six years now and all the way from localization to publishing to working with devs directly and, and now I'm over in the marketing side and at G4. So uh, I've kind of <laughs> seen many different angles of the gaming industry and I've loved every single moment of it. It's just such a wonderful, wonderful place to be. People are so passionate about, passionate about what they do here and about making games and sharing their love of them. And it's been a wonderful ride. And I'm just glad I get to be one of the voices that comments on them and hopefully brings more people to the party and gets people excited about playing new and different games. I mean, you have been, you know, one of the folks that I've think about when I'm thinking about like the future of this space, folks who I think are really doing fantastic work, really bringing that message home with, with everything that you've been doing. And, and it's been just, Fantastic to see you kind of just take over the space and take over the world one one moment at a time. So that's been really, really cool. Um, I, I'm, I'm just doing my thing over here in, in Spawn on Me land. You know, we've been doing this thing for almost a decade now, spotlighting people of color in the gaming industry. Um, and, and now we get a chance to do something that I've dreamt about, getting a chance to do a show like this, uplifting folks and, and uplifting underrepresented communities. So I am just very excited to be able to do this with all of you at home and everyone who's helped to support this. Uh, so without further ado, I want to run right into the show. Let's get into it with our first award of the night. Oh, hey, what's up, gamers? You all like first person and third person shooters? Pretty cool, right? What about second person shooters? Exactly. You've never played one. What's up with that? What are they hiding from us? That's a discussion for another time. We'll talk about that later. The shooter genre has grown so much over the past couple years, and 2021 had some of the biggest and best known titles in the world battling it out. When it came time for clicking heads and ripping them to shreds, these games were locked and loaded. Here are our nominees for the best shooter of 2021, or what we like to call our Six Million Ways to Die Award. Best shooter of 2021? I mean, to be honest with you, it's probably just going to be Steph Curry. Yeah. Six million ways to die. Choose one. Six million ways to die. Choose one. Six million. Six million. 
The Six Million Ways to Die Award. Battlefield 2042. Apex Legends. Halo Infinite. Returnal. And the winner is Halo Infinite. This is Steve Downs, the voice of Master Chief, Spartan 117. I'm proud to accept the Spawny for the category Six Million Ways to Die. How do I do it? It's simple. Like Cortana said, what if you miss? The answer is, I won't. Six million times. Chief, out. All of the congratulations to 343 Halo Infinite winning our Six Million Ways to Die Award Best Shooter of the Year. Ka, what do you think of this? Obviously, Halo, it, it's had some, some rough go of it but here and there, but like we are so, so excited that they've won this year. What are your thoughts? I wish that I could get the Halo guy, the like person who does all the, the like voiceover stuff to just be like spontacular. Like it would be dope to be able to have something happen in that respect. You know, I've been a huge Halo fan forever. Uh, 343 has just been killing it. You know, the, the, the specter of Craig is now gone. Uh, <laughs> they have nailed this in every possible way that they could. And I'm just so happy to see, you know, them, them come back to form in this way. You know, they have nailed gunplay. They've nailed story. They've nailed all these things kind of in this fantastic combination. And, and I'm just so happy for the, the folks over at 343. Uh, rocking us with the uh, rocket with us today absolutely i mean we love combat evolved obviously but that repulsor that grapple hook like shoddy snipers will never be the same it is so exciting that that halo is back and i couldn't be more proud of this award winner congratulations again to 343 we here love you at the spawnies and let's get to the next award Hearing Mad World play while Dom Santiago made the ultimate sacrifice in Gears of War. Choosing Lee Everett's fate in Telltale's The Walking Dead. We're losing Joel in The Last of Us Part 2. These are just a few moments in gaming that changed the landscape of our hearts and tapped into the emotion that lie under the surface. This year was filled with games that made us laugh, cry, scream, holler, and everything in between. And these are the nominees for the most emotional narrative game or what we like to call the Snot Bubble Cry Award. <laughs> R.I.P. Joel. R.I.P. The Snot Bubble Cry Award. Life is strange, true colors. Uh, uh. Ratchet and Clink, a rift apart. Psycho Knots 2. Uh, uh, uh. The Artful Escape. And the winner is Psycho Knots 2. Thank you so much, Spawn on Me and Khalif, for our best narrative game award. Bubbles not cry. <laughs> So excited and happy that we won this award. And I think we definitely, first of all, have to thank Tim Schaefer for this amazing story. Nothing would have been possible without him and this crazy idea, oh, sorry, can't say crazy, wild idea he had in his mind many years ago and our ability to come back 16 years later and tell this amazing story has been life-changing for many of us. Um, but most importantly, I have to thank the Double Fine team. Uh, this game and its success would not have been possible without us. And I really must thank my lead specifically, uh, Zach Bakharov, who was our lead animator. He handled so much work amazingly and really delivered on quality and sold the story. In addition, Rusty, Rusty is one of our favorite long-term employees and his work on getting the characters to sing really kind of sold the game and the narrative. And 
there's just too many people to, to really support. Like Jeff is amazing. Jeff Solis, thank you so much for the amazing world that we were able to tell our stories in. But most importantly, everyone at Double Fine, this wouldn't be possible without you. And thank you so much, Spawn on Me. <laughs> our winner for our Snot Bubble Cry Award, the most emotional game of 2021, is Psychonauts 2 from our friends over at Double Fine. Huge congrats to that team who, again, when you think about games that went above and beyond in so many different facets, uh, this game comes to mind and jumps to the forefront. Ree, what were your thoughts about Psychonauts 2? Uh, I have so many thoughts about Psychonauts 2. I absolutely adore this experience. I can't even really call it just a game. It's, uh, it's so many things, but emotional is definitely one of them. I personally have experienced panic attacks before and without getting too much into the spoilers of the, the course of the narrative, you fight them in the game as an enemy type. And when I tell you the first time I encountered one, I broke down. I had a real snot bubble cry moment, like <laughs> in everything. So uh, this is absolutely a well-deserved award. Uh, it made me feel all the feels, good and bad, and really helped me get through some stuff, started some conversations that needed to be had. And ugh, mm, thank you so much, Double Fine, for this incredible experience. Well, talk talk about a game that comes out at the perfect time, right? It, it, you know, going through the pandemic, having lots of conversations around mental health this year. It was such a perfect timing for this game to kind of come out alongside all the narrative bits and all the parts that you talked about. I definitely had some moments too where I was like, oh man, this really nails, you know, this thought around these kinds of issues in a way that I would have never thought about before. So again, thank you to our friends over at Double Fine for not only thinking outside the box, but bringing home uh, some great narrative moments for us to be able to think about uh, all the ways we tackle and discuss mental health. So massive shout out to them. And we're gonna kick it off into our next award. Super excited for this one. Here it goes right here. There's no question that the world of games is constantly expanding. And though there are plenty of brand new titles to dive into, sometimes we might wanna spend some time with something that's a little more familiar, yet fresh. These are the games that we come back to month after month, year after year, as they give us new content, new ways to explore their universes, new stories to uncover, and new ways to engage with other players. These are ongoing games, and we're honoring the best ongoing game with an award that we like to call the On the Road Again Award. The On The Road Again Award, No Man's Sky, Destiny 2, Apex Legends, Fortnite, and the winner is Apex Legends. Dave Osag, lead level designer here at Respawn on the Apex team, and I am honored to accept this award on behalf of the Apex Legends team. A big thank you to the Spawnies community for recognizing our game. It has been so cool to see this community come together uh, alongside of us. From everyone on the Apex team, we're all working hard to increase diversity uh, in gaming and to see each other represented in a really big way. This is really important to us. Um, I think sharing the perspective and experiences of people from around the world is important to bring a wealth of stories and inspiration more people can relate to. It just makes games better, and we love that our players um, can see themselves reflected in the worlds that we're building on a Apex. And we at Respawn will continue to champion for diverse characters and narratives. Um, we're all just starting to see the incredible stories and contributions that diverse uh, developers like myself, uh, creators, and players have made to gaming. And I'm excited to see what's coming next. Thank you so, so much for this award. Hey. When I think about games that are doing their thing over and over and over again, they are like knocking it out of the park. We have to give massive love to our friends over at Apex Legends for our On the Road Again Best Ongoing Game Award. Re, I know you are a huge Apex fan. Let, let, the people <laughs> know, let the people at home know what the deal is. OMG, Ka. Apex Legends is absolutely the best 
ongoing game of this year, of every year, for all time. It could not be a more well-deserved win. Respawn. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for giving us such amazing content. Season after season, legend after legend, new map after new map. You gave us arenas mode. Ugh. Absolutely the biggest congratulations to Apex Legends. Best ongoing game. I could not agree with this win anymore. Ka, help me because I could go on forever. Uh, I mean, all I'm going to just scream out into the world is Mozambique here. That's what I'm going to say. I'm just going to say that. And that'll be the last thing I have to say about Apex Legends because that game is just fantastic and continues to get better with every, every iteration. We have been moving hot and heavy on the spawnies, but you know, sometimes you just have to take a break. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. All right, everybody, it, it, I'm so excited to have you here. It has been so much fun to watch everybody in chat, you know, put in good words and share some love uh, in the chat. We're, we're at a, a small break, uh, but I don't want breaks to just be boring, you know, videos of nothing happening uh, on the points. It's not the way we do things here. So I figure what we'll do is we'll play a little Pictionary. Let me know how you're digging the show in the chat. You know, I see you writing that real bad thing in the chat. I've seen you do it twice already and you got timed out don't do it again uh because if you do uh then i'm gonna put economic sanctions on you so we're gonna play a little bit of pictionary it's gonna be a, uh, i'm gonna draw a game uh you are at home uh let me know what you think the game is and then when you do that we'll find a way to give whoever says the name of the thing first sub We'll, we'll do that real fast. So let, let's run through it real quick. Uh, I'm gonna do something like this here. We're gonna do it pretty quick too. We got five minutes or so. So let's draw some, some things here. We'll draw a little line here. Uh, we'll get some folks here who are, you know, watching the festivities and stuff. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, so I'm look, put all the good stuff in the chat. As soon as you feel like you might know what this is, you know, let me know. That dude's that person's eyes are all over the place. He has another eye on on the side of his head. Uh so these are the 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 folks who are just hanging out, watching watching stuff. I'm not going to say much about like where I think people, why is your head so small? Your head is big and your body is tiny. You have a teeny head. All right. So got that. We got some stuff here. We got some stuff here. We're going to draw a big bowl here. We're going to draw another one here. Don't laugh at my drawing. Better not. Don't do it. I see you. We got some stuff here. We got some stuff here. Uh, and then we got to draw these folks. So we got one here. Uh, you have the eye here, face there. We got another person over here. You got the eye there. You got a little nose, a little, little nose, mouth. Uh, and then you got the shirt and then you got some pants. <laughs> I think those are pants. Uh, and this is a sleeve. That looks like a wing. What the hell am I drawing? This is bad. Uh, and then there's a little fingers. And then this are little fingers. And then this person also has a body uh, and some pants. Don't stop. Yo, stop laughing at my pants though. The pants are fired. I don't know what y'all are talking about. These are good pants that I'm drawing right now. The cool thing is that this person has a dope hat and the hat goes like this and he has a thing like this like that and then this person has another thing that he does where he does uh like this and then it goes like that and then it's like this this is easy. Like y'all should know this. I don't know how you, how you missed this. Like this is an easy, easy win. It's like an easy drawing for you to pull in. His, his clothes are blue. 
and this dude over here he has a little i don't even know how to draw that i don't even know how that works uh i don't know what that looks like but this is the other part that you see in this and if you can't get that then i don't know i think that this is a perfect drawing that illustrates all the things that we see within this particular game uh and i think this is perfect for what this game <laughs> represents i don't know if that looks good at all it looks terrible to me this looks like something that they would put you in the corner for uh for drawing something like this but i see all right put your answers in chat first person to get it will get a sub to the channel uh, again, we're going to do a, one more of these for another one of our breaks uh, coming up very, very soon. But again, thank you so much for watching the show. We'll see you right after this. Let's go. You know, we couldn't do a Spawnies without a dance break. Let's check out this musical performance. Now it's time for our wrap up. Let's give it everything we've got. Ready? Begin. Well, I heard artificial amateurs aren't at all amazing. The age of empires, I am artfully escaping. Balancing on BPMs while the beat bellows. Brutal bordellos, otomes, and booster fellows. From classes in the closet to concerts and cons. Fast lane living, I done crashed four times. At death store, death loop, disco elysium. From dust set goals, and at dawn, I'm exceeding them. Eating other editors with each and every exodus. Epileptic episode, melanated excellence. Far Cry 6, F1, and 4. Final Fantasy have more DLC for ya. Guardians of the Galaxy, you gotta grab for the inspiration. Give the gratitude to gift the cab. Halo Infinite, Hitman 3 held in high esteem, much like Hades. It takes two, what an interesting concept. Interactivity in order to progress. Juice on judgment, jockey for substance. Jupiter, hell, my people just want justice. Keekly is cool, but we needed something cooler. To feed the consumers, not motivated by moolah. Legendary looper, I learned life is strange. Living in a fast lane, lightning in the veins. My the Hunter Horizon, MLB, Mass Effect, Metroid Dread, so fresh, mad respect. 2K was business as usual, naturally nice, not the time to be neutral. Operation opposition by a lot, out of sight, most new systems out of stock. Psychonauts 2, Pac-Man 99, Pokemon Snap, is return so divine. Quick remastered, quiet is kept, quickly advanced, now we back on the quest. Resident Evil, Ratchet and Clank, Returnal, have you running back to the bank? Guilty to gear strive, saw sales just sore, so a short to secure, more spawn in your boards. Tales of a rise, most fine, too tough. Tony Hawk Switch, now we back for a tune up. Universal soundtrack untouched, unpacking for the raw, uncut. Valheim, vibed on life as a Viking, a vibrant world. Your objective is surviving. Will the myth, with a weapon in your hand? More action than your family can stand. Xerox, treat them like X ray vision. See right through them, now we back on the mission. Yuffie was youthful, young with a dope crew. But remember, the world is with you. Zero to 100, the year just zipped by. A little something to help you get by. They bore me, they got nothing for me. So I had to revisit a classic for the spawnies. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Can you say it faster? This next one, I, I gotta say I'm really excited for because uh, uh, the presenters are fantastic and absolutely huge win. This year showcased just how impactful the indie game space is to our industry. These titles and developers play a crucial role. They often push the boundaries of genre, explore untold stories and spaces, and deliver delightfully unexpected experiences. We've had some amazing indie games to play and we wanted to share a few of our favorites. So I'm honored to present the nominees for our best indie game or what we'd like to call the Indie Apocalypse Award. The Indie Apocalypse Award. Loop Hero Inscription Sable Aerial Knights Never Year And the winner is Loop Hero well, howdy partners, it's your old pals Devolver Digital here in my best bib and tucker here to accept the Indie Apocalypse Award on behalf of Four Quarters. 
They're sorry they couldn't make it here today, but oh, they're all tuckered out. I don't even know what an apocalypse is, but it sure sounds like a rootin' tootin' good time to me, boy howdy. Now we're just plum squinty to know that the fine folks over at Spawn On Me don't gotta be in their bonnet for Loop Hero. It's a game so great it's got us all to pieces. But anywho, the fellers over at Four Quarters no doubt want me to shut my big bazoo and get along telling y'all that they sure are grateful to all the players who like the game. They never counted on this little old critter to be so darn successful, but they sure are glad to be proven wrong and I can set with that, let me tell you. So thanks again Spawn On Me and all the fans of Loop Hero out there. Y'all take care now, you hear? The Indie Apocalypse Award goes to Loop Hero from Four Quarters, another one from Devolver Digital. I mean, they can't miss. Am I right, Kyle? Like, what an incredible game. I mean, if you think about loops and you think about the past year and you think about all the things that you have done over and over and over again, <laughs> Talk about a game that is apropos of everything that we've been going through in the past couple of years. You know, shout out to the folks over at, 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 at Loop Hero. Again, like I've been checking out their work for a minute, uh, getting a chance to play through this and having just a blast with so many hours put in and learning about all the twists and turns and all the kind of little secrets here and there. A, a game like this doesn't come along very often, um, especially in the category that is as stacked as it was this year. Uh, so they definitely get massive kudos for their win in our Indie Apocalypse Award at the Swannies this year, for sure. 100%. And again, Indie Games, they are doing so much great work. I mean, an endless RPG with like card mechanics and some autoplay stuff mixed in. What a huge lift and what a great execution. Congratulations, Four Quarters. You absolutely deserve this win for Loop Hero. And let's keep it moving with the next award. Music can be the driving force behind a video game, the backdrop to fantastical worlds, or the soundscape that pushes that one scene from memorable to iconic. This next category is all about the best music we've heard in games in 2021. Here are nominees for the Turnip Award. Wow, the competition's even stiffer than I thought. Please, my mom got better moves than that at the time her girdle slipped in church. The Turnip Award. Aerial Knights Never Yield. The Artful Escape. Fuser. Forza Horizon 5. And the winner is Aerial Knights Never Yield. Yo, thanks so much for this award. This is dope. Uh, thanks to all the gamers and streamers and everybody who came out and supported the game and understood what I was trying to do with the music, with the hip hop, jazz soundtrack, trying to mix it up and do something different. Um, I wish Dan was here to really kind of accept this award with me because like he was pretty much my partner in crime trying to figure out like this music and this sound and putting all this stuff together. Uh, shout out to Head Up and Black Screen Records for kind of pushing it out there and making sure that people can enjoy it outside of the game. But uh, again, thank you to the players, the gamers, and all of you who came out and rocked with me and played the game. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the music. I hope you enjoy what I'm working on next. Uh, it, it's really dope stuff. So uh, thank you again. You, there's no words for how much I appreciate it. Uh, and of course, never yield. I could not be more excited to say congratulations to Aerial Knights Never Yield for the winner of this award neil jones what a talented young brother we are so excited for you ka what are your thoughts on this win i mean this this game and and the soundtrack for this epitomizes the turn up right this is exactly what you hope for when we talk about we are the culture this is the 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 the, the game that i think of when you mash up you know, black culture, hip hop with video games in the way that, that we've never really seen before. So getting a chance to see, you know, Neil kind of go through this journey uh, from being a very young solo dev to now being a little bit older with his first game out. Um, I'm just so proud of him and the work that he's done with with Never Yield. It is just brilliant and fantastic. So super excited for him. 
Absolutely. And the turn up is so true. There are times when I would turn on the game and just leave it on the home screen because it is so good. The music is going. I absolutely danced while I was playing this and maybe messed up the speeder in a couple of times, but <laughs> it was worth it because the music is fantastic. Congratulations to Neil, to Ariel Knight's Never Yield, and let's keep it rolling with this next award. 2021 was a fantastic year for games. We got to play through remakes of some of our favorite series and jumped into new worlds created by indie developers too. One of the biggest takeaways of the year was that goodness could be found in the most unforeseen places. Check out these nominees for our most surprising game of 2021, or what we like to call the Oh Snap Award. The Oh Snap Award, Loop Hero. The Artful Escape. Knockout City. Split Gate. And the winner is The Artful Escape. Hello, my name is John Galvatron, and I'm a person who works at Beethoven and Dinosaur on the Artful Escape. Apparently, we have won a Spawny. I'm so excited. It's the award for the biggest prize of the year, or the O Snap Award. And Khalif has sent me the prize. It's Rod Stewart's A Night on the Town, uh, with such cuts as Tonight's the Night. Uh, great album. Um, I'd like to thank Annapurna Interactive, our publishers, They've been incredibly supportive and incredible collaborators throughout the adventure. Um, I'd also like to thank Sean Slevin, Justin Blackwell, who, um, who agreed to go on this crazy adventure with me. Thank you so much. Thank you to the team. You left it all on the field. Um, uh, amazing uh, process of making the Artful Escape. Um, I'm really happy to win the surprise award. It's, it's cool to be surprising. Okay, thanks very much. I'm gonna go listen to Rod Stewart. Congratulations to Beethoven and Dinosaur for winning the Oh Snap Award, most surprising game of the year. Annapurna Interactive, my goodness, what an incredible publisher, choosing another hit, bringing it to us. And Ka, I was really excited to see this award. What are your thoughts? I mean, this game just like spoke to me in so many different ways. I think, again, it was one of those games that kind of hit at the perfect time you know, needing that kind of vibrance in the world and, and, and just hitting with this like hugeness of the music that was in, in, in the game. It just felt super good to kind of just sit down, vibe out to it and just and just live through uh, the story that they kind of laid out for us. Super, super cool and super, super excited to see what they do next. Uh, from the team from the Artful Escape. Absolutely, and it, it's really important that we have awards categories like this. I love the Spawnies, and, and one of the things that I love most is that we get to shine some light on awards categories and also games that maybe get a little bit overlooked once we get to the end of the year. I know the first time I saw the Artful Escape, I believe it was at E3 and Xbox Showcase uh, exclusive, and it was absolutely breathtaking. The art style was so unique. The music seemed incredible. And it's really exciting that we get to highlight some of these experiences that people may have missed in the year. So again, congratulations to the Artful Escape for winning the most surprising game of the year. Oh, snap, you killed it. Let's get into the next one. One of the best things about video games is the places they transport us to. We can take a walk around the past hunt for treasure in ancient tombs, or explore the depths of the ocean. When adventure is at the heart of the game, the options really just feel limitless. Here are our nominees for the best adventure game, or what we like to call the Ease On Down the Road Award. The Ease On Down the Road Award. Death Door. Psychonauts 2. Resident Evil Village. Guardians of the Galaxy. 
And the winner is Death's Door. Hi, I'm David from Acid Nerve, and we are thrilled that our game Death's Door has received the Ease On Down The Road Award from the Spawnies. Thanks very much. We're really glad you enjoyed the game, and we are honoured to have provided a road on which you could ease on down. Thank you. We also just wanted to thank everyone who has played the game, who's left us a review, sent us comments, sent us messages, and streamed the game. Thank you for all your support. You've all made it a really amazing release and an amazing year for us. Thanks very much. It looks like our Ease On Down The Road best narrative, best adventure game is gonna go to our friends at Acid Nerve for Death's Door. My God, that game is just wild. Who knew that a little burb would be the thing <laughs> that I would be thinking about uh, for the rest of my 2021 gaming conversation. Reed, did you get a chance to run through Death's Door? I didn't, but honestly, uh, it's pretty, easy to see why it won based on all of the amazing things I've heard people say about it. And also uh, just another hit in the incredible stable from Devolver Digital. I mean, Ooh. those kids are absolutely crushing and that's door just the latest and greatest in a series of incredible games that they have picked up on and, and shipped out. Just really, really excited to see everybody so happy with what they've done at Acid Nerve and, you know, hats off to, to those devs and, and making a really great experience for everybody. Yes, and, and shout out to another Game Pass banger, right? Like, look at that being in the mix too. We had a really great, uh, really fantastic conversation with the devs uh, for one of our Spawn Plays uh, shows. You can check that out on our YouTube channel as well. But yeah, I'm so happy that they got a chance to take through uh, and, and win this one. It is one of the games that I was thinking about a lot before it came out, getting a chance to run through it and play it. It even lived up to all those expectations. So massive shout out to the friends over Acid Nerve and their win for Death's door grab your biscuits and hold on tight because we're gonna have to take a quick ad break we'll be right back after this all right everybody we are back we have one more round of pictionary that we're gonna get into today another banger of a drawing by me because i'm one of the best artists on twitch go to vibes <laughs> so we're gonna do a little bit of this here um and then we're gonna do let's see Let's add some color to this piece. Uh, and then we'll go like, nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do, no, we won't, because it didn't work. Oh, snap. Oh, that's why, because I'm an idiot. Okay, so. What, what? Okay. I don't even know how to draw stars anymore. Uh, wow, it's just like when you, it's like watching kids who have never like did, uh, who never wrote in script, learn how to, what, these are like not, <laughs> I, I think it's really hard to do this with a mouse, by the way, uh, just so you understand, it is not easy to draw stuff like this with a, with a mouse is actually pretty hard to do this. All right, so you get the idea of what that is. All right, so, that was so bad. That was so terrible. Um, uh, let's do this first, and then we'll do, this person has a little, little necky piece and has a pretty big thing here. Um, and then has like a little bit of a thing like this. And has a little thing like this. A little things on it. I think you, I mean, I can't, I can't say that this is, this is reasonable what this is. This is probably not exactly uh, the best, the best version of this, I would say. Uh, <laughs> all right. The, the, oh, wow. Okay. I'm sure somebody is going to come get me for this because that just looks super, super bad. Um, 
uh, uh, this is, these are, these are supposed to be arms. Again, these are arms as a hand. And then this is, uh, a thing like this and like this and like this and has some stuff like this on it. I don't, I don't even know what this is. I thought I had an idea of what this was supposed to be at first. And now I have no idea what I just tried to draw. <laughs> this is bad. What the hell is this supposed to be now? <laughs> I totally botched this. Uh, wow. Uh, I, uh, I, I don't, I, I'm going to think that those are things that are supposed to be on the front like that and then like that and pew 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 <laughs> chat don't beat me chat don't beat me uh and then that's a thing and then that's a thing um and then uh you have a big old thing on the thing like this and then you have a whole bunch of Animals like this, they look like that, and they look like this. I I, I don't I don't I, I ran out of ideas <laughs> how to do what this thing is supposed to be. Okay, we ran out to five minutes. You're gonna laugh when you hear what this is actually supposed to be. So this is supposed to be No Man's Sky. <laughs> Everybody at Hello Games is gonna sue me and tell me that I'm a, a terrible human being. Whatever you want to do, I hope you enjoyed my drawing for five minutes. It is garbage, but I, I, I never said I was an artist. I'm a podcaster. I don't know what to do. Uh, thank you so much for hanging. Talking about the Spawny Awards. Uh, Spawny. When they should spawn on me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to y'all. I'm on the road again, but we be talking. That's the Humvee off the road again. Yeah, I've been talking about the nominees doing these things in game that's kind of dry. Those are nominees. I'm talking about games like No Man's Skies. Trust me, it's all about games. You gotta see a few. Trust me, I'm talking about games. I'm seeing Destiny. Trust me, it's all about games. I got a beverage. I've been still talking off road games and Apex Legends. Confused? It's all about things. You see the views that's around me. Dropping these games, you gotta spawn on me. Hit you with the loveliest vibes. I'm wondering why I'm reading on the schedule and it cannot die. We've been dropping mad flows and I cannot side. That when we talk about the games, I just don't know why. That's another one. Talk about games, I'm giving raps. Another nominee's awards like Old oh, Snap. Who's in Old oh, Snap? Dropping out the rain barrels. I'm looking things. All I really see is loop heroes. Doing things as a floodgate. No, another war. about our nominees i'm talking about cues and things like for nominees dropping these games guess they all on me talking about the spun on me see i'm the accuser these some games like the fuser crazy i be talking about these things on the slides and we talk about some card games forbs and horizon i say i got it if i really think it's mine i'm not talking about the other four bros so this one is five look we dropping those ways i'd rather play it all because that's all of my names and flows that they don't know about me doing things I can make the strive. Got another ward, six million ways to die. Who's in that maze? Talk about that games that fly. It's a temperament. We talk about shooting games like infinite. That halo is the infinite. Popping by the salo. We got an apex lesson. and they be dropping by the payload. You know, with all this now intimately familiar with every version of teleconferencing on the planet, VR spaces have given us a new way to escape, learn, and play. And this year had some pretty fantastic virtual reality games. So here are just a few that made us never, ever 
want to return to the real world. Here are the nominees for best virtual reality game, or what we like to call our Jamiroqua Award. Remember the dude music video that looks like super hot? Does that mean is the actual award a, a fuzzy top hat? The Jamiroqua Award. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Pistol Whip. Smash Drums. Ragnarok. And the winner is Pistol Whip. Hey, Spawn on Me community. My name is Ed Lago, and I'm the executive producer at Cloudhead Games. On behalf of the entire Pistrip team, we humbly accept this award with a lot of joy and gratitude in our hearts. For a game that was released in 2019, we're so grateful that it remained the top 10, and we have been able to support it with new scenes, campaigns, and features to keep folks entertained along the way. This has given the team so much energy. And we're only here because of you, the fans, our incredible community, and our amazing support across the web. We know VR is growing more and more every day, and we're happy to keep pushing the boundaries of this industry. The team is really excited to see you play upcoming updates in this tweet. So stay tuned, and thanks again for this beautiful award, and have a great year. Huge congratulations to Cloudhead Games for this win, the Jamiroquai Award, Pistol Whip. I, I love VR. I've been really, really enjoying my time with a lot of these games and really, really exciting to see this win. And a little bit of virtual <laughs> insanity has maybe kept us sane this year. So, Ka, what are your thoughts on this category? I mean, I, I've been a huge fan of Pistol Whip, you know, it, and, and VR in general. I think VR is still kind of getting this not great rep of, of being kind of the future where we're at. It's the only place where I can have hair. It's the only place where, <laughs> you know, I, I can I can live out all of my 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 John Wick fantasies in, in Pistol Whip. So, you know, getting a chance to have them kind of uh, showcased in uh, Swanee's award uh, with winning the best of VR award uh, is, is super super fun and exciting. I think. I'm even more excited for what DLC comes down the road for them because every pack that they put out in the world has been just brilliant and, and super, super fun. So excited for Cloudhead and, and for Pistol Whip getting the award today. Yeah, awesome. Congrats on winning the Jamiroquai Award to Cloudhead Games again for Pistol Whip. And I don't know, maybe if the, they keep going with this DLC trend, we may see them in the best ongoing category next year. Mm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. But first, let's get into our next award. Each year, we get the chance to live out our sports dreams in digital spaces. Although we may never shoot a shot like Steph Curry or crush an ace like Serena Williams, video games like the ones in this category give us an opportunity to hold trophies high, compete against our friends, and level the playing field for those of us still holding on to hoop dreams. Here are the nominees for Best Sports Game of the Year, or as we like to call it, our Willis Reed, you big dummy, award. Willis Reed, the big dummy award, Knockout City. NBA 2K21. Riders Republic. MLB The Show. And the winner is Knockout City. First of all, I'd like to thank Spawn on Me and the Spawnies for creating this amazing award that not only celebrates the great games that have come out this year, but also the diversity that we have in our game community and our industry. When my brother Guha and I started Velen Studios in 2016, we didn't have an idea for a specific game, but we knew that if we put together an awesome team of creators who are super passionate about what they do, we'd come up with something really innovative and unique like Knockout City. 
I'd like to thank the team at EA Originals for supporting us throughout the development, and of course, our development team itself who worked day in and day out to produce such a great title. And they continue to work every day super hard on building out the live ops and season to seasons content. And finally, I'd love to thank the game community, particularly the core community who supports Knockout City and the feedback that we get every day. It just makes the game better. So thank you. So I am very excited that the wonderful folks over at EA and the team from Knockout City are winning our Willis Reed, you big dummy award. <laughs> uh, and, and again, I know, you know, if you're under the age of 45, you may not know who Willis Reed is. It's totally fine. It's super reasonable. I'm an old man with old man needs and I'm a Knicks fan. So I'm already in the dirt. <laughs> in terms of what that means for <laughs> all of these things, but he was a really good basketball player. So you just, just know that for sure. Um, Re, I know you and I have been going at it in Knockout City over this year. I'd love to hear your thoughts on them winning our sports award. Uh, absolutely. EA really, really knocked it out of the park with this one to keep the sports references going. I adore Knockout City. Everything from the vibe of the menus to the music to the way your character creation is is set up all the way down to like the sound it makes when you just bean somebody over the head with one of those rubber balls it feels like you're out on the playground like living your best dodgeball life and oh my god what an incredible surprise for this year as well like such a great experience like again congratulations to ea like i could not get enough of knockout city i still play it to this day yeah, shout out to the folks for, for making one of my favorite kind of games like this that I've ever got a chance to play. It also reminded me of when I used to have reflexes. It was fantastic back <laughs> in the day. Uh, we're we're going to keep it moving with our next award. Check this out right here. The world around us is decorated with so many unique perspectives, cultures, and people, and it reflects in the beautiful games we make. This award is given to the game that goes above and beyond to celebrate the ways that we are different. Here are your nominees for the Brocago Heritage Award. The Brocago Heritage Award, Death Loop. Boyfriend Dungeon. Psychonauts 2. Kana, Bridge of Spirits. And the winner is Boyfriend Dungeon. Hi, I'm Tanya, the designer, main writer, and director of Boyfriend Dungeon. First, thank you so much to Khalif and the Spawn on Me team for giving us this award. It means so much to me and the team to win an award for representation because in this case it was a game that started from a natural itch to make a game that I myself really wanted to play and couldn't find. When I was a student in the early 2000s, I thought for sure that we'd be swimming in more inclusive dating sim RPGs by now. Of course, inclusivity isn't just a matter of following your own tastes, even for a diverse team like ours. We had to take a lot of, of thoughtful work and careful research, and we had lots of discussions in the team about different sexualities and genders. And I want to shout out our wonderful sensitivity readers, especially Squinky and Tanya to pass, um, but also every time that a Kit Fox teammate or a playtester took the time to say something to me about how they felt, sharing your true self or your feelings about yourself or other people, it takes courage to be vulnerable. And it's the only way we can make good art. So thank you to every player. I hope your sword boyfriends are everything you dreamed. And here's a few more messages from other teammates that made Boyfriend Dungeon. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sin. I'm the art director at Kid Fox Games, working on Boyfriend Dungeon. And uh, we are so thrilled and thankful to be receiving this award. Uh, for me, representation is important because growing up as an Asian American, in the media that I consumed, there were not 
very, uh, there were not a lot of characters that looked like me. And often Asian men were not seen as uh, attractive or desirable. But things are changing. There is a shift in our cultural narratives. And, you know, if Boyfriend Dungeon made you feel more seen and more loved as a human being, then that's something worth celebrating for all of us. So thank you so much. Hi, I'm Marcelo. I am the lead programmer on Boyfriend Dungeon. And um, for me, representation is very important because growing up as a gay man in a country where life is more on a traditional side, um, I didn't really have many references uh, to people like me. And so it was a bit alienating and also more difficult than it should have been. So it's very heartwarming to receive this award because it feels like we did something that helped change that a little bit. So a big thank you to the Spawn on Me podcast for giving us this award and a big thank you to the players as well. And I hope everyone can find something for themselves in the game. Massive win for our folks over at Kit Fox with Boyfriend Dungeon. Yay, super excited for them. I've been a huge fan of their work for a long time. I was rocking Moon Hunters a bunch when I first heard about Kit Fox. Uh, did you get a chance to run through any Boyfriend Dungeon? Any any hot takes on, on the Boyfriend Dungeon side of things? I did, I did. I've gotten a, a couple of looks at Boyfriend Dungeon at various PAX indie booths and uh, it's it's an amazing experience. It's very unique, definitely innovative. Dating your weapons is, you know, an, an unusual prospect, but it, it definitely plays well. And uh, the characters are just so memorable and so fun. They feel like people you know, and Kid Fox did an amazing job with this game. I, I'm just, just even like so more excited for the fact that they won because of that whole concept of dating your weapons is just a wild thing to kind of concept out and, and they nailed it when it came to that there was some folks in there i was like all right you know maybe i have to go do a setup or two get myself ready for <laughs> for for my new date in life with, with my with my my swords uh so yeah i'm super excited for, for them massive love to our friends over at kit fox for winning our diversity award for the spawnies let's keep the momentum going let's get it rocking and hit up our next award This year, we've seen a multitude of fantastic games, reimagined favorites, new experiences that captivated us, and warm blanket titles that brought us back to family and friends. This has been one of the best years in gaming, and these titles stood head and shoulders above the rest. These are the nominees for the Spawnies Game of the Year. Ready to form Voltron. Activate Interlock. Dinotherm connected. The Cheddar Bay Biscuit Award, Psychonauts 2, Halo Infinite, Deathloop, Returnal, and the winner is Psychonauts 2. Once again, thank you so much, Spawn on Me, for our game of the year, Cheddar Bay Biscuit Award. Got it. I couldn't find any Cheddar Bay Biscuits, unfortunately, but I do have. I have lots of my bags. So I... <laughs> Once again, thank you so much, Spawn on Me, and our fans. Uh, are the, just amazing and thank you so much for nominating us and um, winning of course I also absolutely must thank the Double Fine team once again this game would not be possible without you and your hard work um, so a small team of 78 people made a game that usually takes 300 to 400 people and that alone is, is a miracle in itself so thank you so much Double Fine team and our fans for making us game of the year but most importantly, I want to thank our families, our families and our chosen families who supported us for the last four years and especially the last two in the middle of the pandemic. I just want to say thank you so much. We wouldn't have made it here without you and your love and support. And shout out to all the cute kids at Double Fine who made us laugh throughout the whole process. 
Thank you so much for our guide. If I could scream on this microphone without blowing everybody's eardrums out, I would congratulations to Double Fine for this win. Psychonauts 2, the Spawnies Game of the Week, Game of the Year, the Cheddar Bay Biscuit Award. Oh my goodness, what a well-deserved title. Psychonauts 2 is absolutely my favorite game that I've played in 2021. And maybe in the last few years, I gotta be honest, it's gonna be my game of the year for the next couple of years, especially <laughs> if they give us more content. Ka, how did you feel about this win? I mean, talk about such a deserving win, right? Like, again, in a year where we've had more games than, than usual, where we've had even more games of quality that, that you know, just from our nominations, nominations list today, uh, you can see just how heavy the competition was and to have Psychonauts 2 kind of rise above that uh, and be our game of the year talks, uh, you know, pretty well about what that game means for not only its conversations around mental health, but, you know, just how beautiful this game is, how wonderful it sounds, how, how they've nailed all the kind of small, intricate parts of what makes a fantastic game brilliant. Uh, and, and I'm just so happy for them as, again, a team that's come back from you know, being gone for a couple of years on this IP. Like it is hard to match the energy and the love that you get from uh, a game like Psychonaut Psychonauts 1. And to have this sequel just be even so much better is, is kudos to them in that way. Um, any any last thoughts to, to, to share before we, before we get up out of here, Ree? Absolutely. I mean, double fine. Thank you personally from me. Thank you for giving us this experience for giving us tools to talk about mental health at a time when we really need to be talking about mental health. Thank you for making it fun, for making it approachable, and for making it into a pretty bomb video game. Mm. I mean, <laughs> the level design, the platforming, all of the different tools in your toolkit that you're using to approach all of these encounters in the boss fights, the music, the cameos that I won't spoil for people who haven't <laughs> played it yet. It's just absolutely wonderful. I love being in this world. I love playing as Raz. And I love that we as a people can start to come together around these conversations because of a game like Psychonauts 2. Couldn't be more happy to say congratulations, Double Fine, on winning the Cheddar Bay Biscuit Award. Now, before we get out of here, as you said, we got to sprinkle a little seasoning on our sponsors. Let's give them some sasson, some love. From the outside, who would know what lies beneath? Unleash it with a machine as savage as you are. Lenovo Legion. Stylish outside, savage inside. This is how legends are made. Kings, queens, monarchs, friends out there, thank you so much for joining us for this year's Spawnies. I had a great time hosting this show with Khalif Adams, the man, the myth, the legend, creator of Spawn on Me. Sir, thank you so much for having me as your co-host today. Re, there is no one else that I would have rather had this experience with. Again, you are one of the folks in this space who I think is 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 the future of this space. I think every time you walk onto a stage, every time you do an appearance, you just bring love and light everywhere you go. And it is infectious and amazing. And I'm blessed to have you rocking with me here as my co-host for this show. You know, again, everybody at home, this is a labor of love. There's been many, many hours, many, many folks behind the scenes making this thing happen. Uh, you know, I'm a one person team uh, trying to get this thing done and make it happen for everybody out in Bricago and all of you as new residents of our wonderful fictional <laughs> fictional town. Um, and the Spawnies is, is, is a way I get to show my love for this industry and get a chance to show uh, our, our, our beautiful contributions to this space in a bigger and, and, and broader way. Again, the foundation of this is to spotlight people of color, spot, spotlight marginalized folks and underrepresented folks within this industry because we are 
absolutely making our contributions seen, heard, and felt through the work that we do. And this is just a small sliver of the gratitude and appreciation that we get the chance to show for all of the hard work that they have done this year and every year that the gaming industry has been in fullest effect. We are the culture. We will continue to be the culture for sure. Uh, Re, get us out of here. Bring us home. <laughs> I will bring us home, Ka. And really quickly, before I do, I really just have to give you your flowers, sir. I am so grateful for all of the work that you have done in our little corner of the internet. I am so inspired by what you do. The light you shine on the industry and all of the people that make it awesome. We are the culture, but you are a leader. And I am so grateful to call you friend and co-host now yeah let's go <laughs> <laughs> i love it uh again next year we have to do this again the energy was so good we have to make sure we give more more love to the folks out there in the world uh, and again thank you so much for taking time out to view this and taking time out to check us out uh, we hope that you will return and come back next year for another one of our spawnies game of the year awards much love to you all take care of yourselves and peace